What's up guys, today I'm going to be giving you about 10 tips uh, for battery saving for your Samsung Galaxy smartphone. A lot of these tips will work for uh, pretty much any Android phone as well too. Um, but we're going to be using the S21 Ultra for example here. So we're going to head into settings and the number one culprit for uh, you know battery draining is really the displays uh, on these phones. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to head into display turn on dark mode uh, so that would definitely save you some battery and also you can also add a dark wallpaper uh, to your display as well too that would definitely give you a little bit extra juice as well alright so the next thing we're gonna do is actually come down here and I recommend if you do not really care about the high refresh rate you can actually turn it off and go to 60 uh, frames now it's not gonna be as smooth as you know the 120 Hertz but that will definitely save you a ton of battery life like that's a pretty big one actually alright so the next one we're gonna go down in screen resolution so right now you can see it's on WQHD plus but we can go ahead and turn it down to full HD plus right we still get pretty good screen quality and this will also save us a ton of battery life because there's just not uh, you know this massive resolution that the phone has to push now if you're kinda crazy you can actually go down even further to HD plus but with this one I do notice that it doesn't just look as good um, you know things just kinda look low res and kinda blurry um, so I recommend just going to full HD plus the, these tips alone right here will save you a ton of battery life just off the rip also one thing that I like to do here is just go ahead and put my time out to 15 seconds so a lot of people might have it at 5-10 minutes uh, basically when you put your phone down the screen will stay on if you have it on 10 minutes 5 minutes uh, that'll just help you it'll just go off every uh, you know 15 seconds but we're gonna leave it on for uh, this video sake alright so the next thing that we actually want to do and this is just a little small one we're gonna go ahead and head into Wi-Fi click on Wi-Fi click on the three dots and go to advanced Wi-Fi features here and then we're just gonna go ahead and we're going to look for this right here Wi-Fi power saving mode and we're gonna go ahead and turn that on uh, so as you can see it says reduce battery usage by analyzing Wi-Fi traffic patterns that will actually save you a little bit of juice as well alright so the next thing is we're gonna head back into connections here and we're gonna go to more uh, connections and then you'll see something enabled called near, nearby device uh, scanning here so we're gonna go ahead and disable that and if you actually click on it it'll let us know what it's actually doing here so your phone will scan for devices nearby and let you connect to them in a pop-up or in a notification panel your phone will scan for devices even when Bluetooth is turned off we definitely don't want this on we don't want it scanning for uh, other devices here so definitely turn that off uh, if it is enabled alright so the next thing we want to do is head back into settings scroll down until we find battery and device care so we're gonna go ahead and click the three dots right here click on automation so basically we want to turn all of these on here auto optimize daily you want to make sure that is on as well I have the time set for 3 a.m. Um, so if you just read it here it says if closed applications to free up memory is turned on background apps will be closed but not your most recently used apps your phone will only be optimized if your screen is off and your phone isn't in use for best results schedule optimization for a time when you don't usually use the phone so that's why we want to do for something like 3 a.m. or something like that auto restart at set times this is pretty important because not only will this help with performance uh, but this also will help uh, with battery life I have it set for just one day you can actually set it for multiple days if you desire to uh, but it says your phone will restart when the screen is off the phone isn't being used the battery is above 30 percent uh, sim card lock is off and we can go ahead and customize the date now you can do up to two days but one day is honestly uh, just enough and then adaptive power saving on here and you can see it says turn power saving on and off automatically based on your usage patterns we're gonna go ahead and turn that on uh, these will help with not only battery life but performance in general alright so lastly we're gonna go ahead head into settings we're gonna scroll down until we get to battery we're gonna go ahead and click on battery 
And then something that a lot of people do not use on their phone is actually the power saving mode here. So we're going to go ahead and click on it. And once you get to around 30%, uh, it just makes sense to turn power saving on. It will definitely help uh, with battery life. As you can see, this is what it's doing. Background network usage, syncing, and location will be limited. And motion smoothness will be changed from 120 hertz to 60 hertz. And also, there are a few tweaks that you can actually do too. Turn off always on display, limit CPU speed to 70%, decrease brightness to 10% as well too. And you have the option to limit apps and home screen as well too. So I definitely uh, would highly recommend turning that on when you start to get low on juice. It will definitely save you a good amount of battery life. All right, so the last really nice uh, thing we could do to save battery life is going to sounds and vibration here. We're going to actually scroll down and click vibration intensity. So basically your phone vibrates when it gets a call. We don't actually want that because the vibrations actually take up a ton of battery life. You don't really need this on if you can hear the phone ringing. But if you do decide that you need it on because you need to feel the vibrations because your phone is on mute, uh, you could turn it on to this level right here and that will definitely help um, for incoming calls. But for everything else, notifications, you know, you just to choose which one is more essential here. So like for me, it would be like notifications, incoming calls, not a big deal. Um, so that is pretty much it. This will help with battery life tremendously. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to let me know what you guys think, and I will catch you guys in the next one.